Warning, the following video contains content that is not suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Alright, dude, my brother just texted me. What did, he, what did he say? He said that I'm out in the front. Like, oh. Why oh, is he done? Or what? Or what? Yeah, oh. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna text him back. No, dude, don't text him back. Wait, wait till, wait till we're in front of the school. Nah, dude, it's all good. Nah, no, no, don't text what you're doing. Dude, it's good. Whenever I drive and I text, nothing bad ever happens to me. Hello, hello, and I want. Hey, my friend's just been at Cross. He means 80, pulse 110. Fuels are fixed and dilated. Get an extra app here for portable chest. No response to pain. We need to intubate. Pulse locks, 92 on 10 liters. We need 1% of lidocaine. He's lost a lot of blood. No readable pulse. My brother, he was... He had a life ahead of him. He had many, he, has, he had a lot of opportunities to get to where he wanted to be in life. He had a scholarship to film school and he was just a good person overall. What had happened was he went to pick me up from rehearsals and couldn't get a hold of me. He called me and I didn't answer my phone. So he texted me. And that's just, that was the worst mistake I think he's made. Texting while driving, it just, it just doesn't hurt yourself. It, it hurts your family and your loved ones. And it's sad that I didn't really spend as much time as I did with him. Because now he's gone and out of my life. I wish I just could see him one more time. And to know that he can just be gone with in the midst of a phone call, it's, it's unbelievable. Texting can wait, it will save your life.